Hello guys, welcome to Don't Be Serious. Today is video part 2 of all characters of Black with Wukong. The White Long, Bak Long. The White Long, a glimpse of a White Long in the trailer. Teacher Shirley was injured and hanging around the cliff, bleeding. Some said it might be still Bak Long from Journey to the West. Since the story is set up 500 years after Journey to the West, that possibility is honestly quite low. Or may it be the same one in the boss fight in that trailer? Assume that the Destined One didn't finish it in this fight, and thus is responsible for this injury. Some also believe that it could be the human form of Gong Gumlong, one of the 28 Celestial Star Officers. Giant Spirit God Goi Leng Sun Goi Leng Sun, the Giant Spirit God is so gigantic that you couldn't unsee it on sight. The blue giant in the background of the Celestial Palace fight scene. Guiling Sun was no match for Sun Wukong in Journey to the West, but it might not be the same situation to the Destined One. I genuinely hope there will be a good boss fight against this tremendous deity. Did you know that Guiling Sun is not just a random character from a fictional novel? He is actually connected to two famous tourist spots of China. Guiling Sun originates from ancient Chinese mythology as the river god of the Yellow River. Possessing the ability to move mountains and seas, legend has it that in ancient times a large mountain blocked the river, causing floods. Guiling Sun split the mountain with his palm, creating a path for the river to flow smoothly, thus benefiting the local people. The separated mountains form what are now known as Huan Mountain and Shouyang Mountain, famous tourist attractions located in Shanxi Province, China. Today, the palm print of Guiling Sun is still visible on the summit of Mount Hua, shaped like a finger and palm. His footprint remains below Shouyang Mountain. Visitors to China must visit Mount Hua and Shouyang, as these places resemble paradise with breathtaking scenery. They will surely leave an unforgettable impression. What a life-changing experience! Li Bai, the famous poet of Tang Dynasty, wrote in his poem. The legend of Gui Ling Sun splitting the mountain directly influenced later tales such as that of Yi Long Sun and the legend of Cham Hung splitting mountains, both of which also involve Mount Hua. Mount Hua can be considered the most frequently split mountain in Chinese mythology by the mortals. Gui Ling Sun is not only the originator of Chinese myths about splitting mountains, but also a great deity who created rivers for the benefit of people. The Ahead of Gui, Lu Tao Gui. The trailer shows us back when a destined one walks out of the cave. There is also a statue of the deer head king, maybe the horned deer Zheng under the yellow wing Gui. It may also be the Great Deer Antler Immortal from Church Kingdom in Journey to the West. Great Baldwin, Chang Gik Dai Dao Song. A giant insect. You can see a big statue head is tied to its back. Probably a cutscene where a giant creature emerges. I'm utterly long to see scenes of Chinese myth giant pieces. Hawk Wai, Ying Guai. Three large hawk like creatures, each with a long sphere descended to the ground. It huge but yet too small to be a great rock. Depending on its size, I speculate it could be an elite boss. Also, speculation is headed that they were soldiers working for the great golden-winged rock eagle, a formidable demon king in Journey to the West. Therefore, many people thought that the lion camel ridge level may exist. Armadillo Jing, Sao Yu Zheng. The Armadillo Zheng is an elite enemy whose weapon is a long staff with a lotus-shaped hand that releases yellow bolts. Giant Locust, Gui Ying Wang Chong. The Giant Locust first appeared in 2021's trailer. The Locust's original paintings were revealed, like those in real life. It has been article with intimidating big eyes and thick thighs, much larger than its real life fellows. The rope and human decorations around its neck may indicate that it belonged to somebody, and is that someone's mouth. Red Gui, Xu Yu Gui. Red Gui, there are soldiers and clocks booming. The red soldier is holding a spear and a shield. The red clock's woman is, as its name stresses, holding a clock's bow. Big mouse, the silly son, Sex Xu Shou Yi Zi. The giant rat who's been locked up. In the trailer, his father, Lo Gua Song, was with him side by side. Despite the shabby clothing, official pictures show that Sex Xu has another form, 
which is standing like a human with armor. Or maybe it's a second son to his father who hasn't shown up. Lao Gua Song. Lao Gua Song. Father to the big mouse, knowing that his son is to be delivered to the tiger banger. The scene where father and son farewell is touching. I wonder whether they'd end up differently. Yellow Wing Guai, Wang Feng Guai. The yellow wing guys are mink yu guai. The fine minks are large, yet extremely flexible. The aerial units have a body much taller and bulkier than the destined one. It might not be just some random miscellaneous enemies, but special units that require your attention. The design might have been slightly altered by now, as the new engine 5 only have Japanese armors, thus the development team had no choice but to adopt those models for early stage build-up. Now, they have created actual Chinese character based models themselves. I believe changes would have been made to some early models. Flea Monster, Kui Zhou Guai. Jumping Monster Fleas, annoying small monsters with red glowing eyes, holding two machetes each. They appear to show that in groups, probably low damage but attack in swarm. Not sure what it is, but as a huge blue demon shows up later in the trailer, I believe they are fleas from the giant Bu Guai. If that's true, it is an intriguing Easter egg to movie The Chinese Odyssey. The stone guys are not easy to mess with. They bear a really, really bad temper. My advice is to avoid them as much as possible. On the other hand, the poem sets that the stone was given a spirit of cultivation by a mistress man. The dispersed scouts stressed that innocent people were unjustly murdered and buried. The resentment gathered and grew bigger and bigger until that man of mystery cast spirit into it, so the scouts somehow lived and absorbed the stone. They as a whole therefore became a weird walking stone creature. The transformation can be obtained after defeating the man in stone. As you can see, the set alone on form is handy when blocking fire attacks. The toughness is considerable. To head the red, Shen Dao Xu. An intense boss fight. Might be the head leader of all red wise of this map. The same level as Dolan Gao Tao. It commands the reds in Yellow Wind Ridge, just as Dolan Gao Tao holds a gang of wolves in Black Wind Mountain. Beware of his fight with Rep and a potential second stage. Weapons are a whip and a scimitar. Blue Demon, no more. A Blue Demon, Minotaur. Many may think that it is the notorious Blue Demon King, but I see it differently. The Blue Demon King is depicted to be an equal to the Monkey King. He would have deserved a more dramatic astonishing entrance than this. Not to mention the Yellow Wing King, who is the real final big boss of the Yellow Wing Rich level. Crow the Pilgrim, Wa Heng Ha. A Crow Zing, who is a pilgrim. The incense burner he carries doesn't look like a weapon, but the crow on his chest is a harmless indication. Could be a friendly NPC, a merchant for item trading, or a guidance. As far as I'm concerned, the interaction with this crow guy may dig out some secrets. Kong Xing. Kong Xing. The old monk in front of the thousand armed Guan Yin. He is the abbot of the Guan Yin Temple. The original painting of Hong Xing shows there is another monk with an offensive look. Could be an enemy, and a scout which has two long teeth, similar to that of Hong Xing the monk. Make me wonder how they are connected. Blind monks, Mang Zheng. The blind monks. There are four types of blind monks, both holding a meteor hammer. Headless monk, Mo Tao Zheng. The headless monk. Who presented a world of spectacular northern Shanxi folk music in the trailer 2021. His identity was speculated to be Ling Zi Bodhisattva or the Jing River Long King. In real life, storytelling in northern Shanxi is mainly popular in Yan'an and Yulin in northern Shanxi province. It was originally performed by poor blind people using folk songs from northern Shanxi to sing some legendary stories. Her performance takes artists to sing in Northern Shanxi accents. Use a sanxian 
or pipa to play along with the singing. Stories are told in the course of rapping and singing. Black bear sing, ha hong zing. The black bear zing, aka the black wing king, also made its debut in the 2021 trailer. The turtle wearing a cassock has the same equipment as the black bears, so it should be its human form. As I mentioned in my previous Golden Heaven video, the black bear zing was notorious for stealing the cassock in the Guanyin Temple. So in the game, we shall expect to see him in the Guanyin Temple level. In the original story, he was subdued by the Guanyin Bodhisattva and was restricted by another golden headband, the provision headband, same as Sun Wukong's tightening headband. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And also be sure to check out my part one of all characters of Black Wukong. Till then, I will see you in the part three.